Hello, today we'll be talking about a related rates problem in which oil has spilled from a ruptured tanker spreading in a circle whose area increases at a constant rate of 6 miles squared per hour. How fast is the radius of the spill increasing when the area is 9 miles squared? So the first thing to do when solving these types of problems is to identify the variables that we're going to be using. The first sentence tells me that I have an area increasing so that means that I need a variable for area. So let's say that A equals area. Alright, the next sentence says how fast is the radius of the spill increasing? How fast means that I have something in regards to time. So let's give a variable for time. Let's just call it T. T equals time. Alright, and finally, again from that sentence, how fast is the radius of the spill increasing? meaning that I need to have a variable for my radius. So we'll say that r equals radius. All right, we're also given some constants too in this situation. We're told that our area is increasing at a constant rate of six miles squared per hour. So that means that my dA over dt, how fast the area is changing in regards to time, equals six miles squared per hour. All right, the other constant that we're given comes from the last line, which says that my area will be 9 miles squared. So we'll say that A equals 9 miles squared. All right, now it's time to start solving the problem. Since I know that my area is increasing in a circular fashion, that means that my formula will be the area of a circle. So I'm going to have A equals pi r squared. All right, and since we're trying to find how fast the radius of the spill is increasing, in other words, dr over dt, let's write, that, let's write that over here. Want to find dr over dt, just so we know what we're looking for later. So to find dr dt and introduce it into this formula, we need to take a derivative of both sides. So we'll say that dA over dt equals pi. And since r is a function of time, that means that it's not a constant, so I'll be bringing down this 2. I'll have an r, subtracting 1 from the exponent is just r to the first. And then since r is a function of t, we're going to have some chain rules, so we'll have dr over dt. Alright, so let's substitute in some values. I know that dA over dt is equal to 6, so we'll have 6 equals pi 2. We don't know what r is, so we're going to leave r right here. And dr over dt is what we're trying to find. Alright, nothing in the problem tells me what r is at this point in time. But since we're told what the area is, we can find out what r is. So over here, let's see, down here in the corner, we'll say a equals pi r squared. And at this point in time, area is equal to 9. So 9 equals pi r squared. So dividing both sides by pi, we're going to have 9 over pi equals r squared. So therefore, r equals square root of 9 over the square root of pi. Square root of 9 is just 3, so 3 over the square root of pi. So now that we know what r is, we can substitute that into the formula that we are working with. So that means I'm going to have 6 equals pi times 2 times 3 over square root of pi times dr over dt. All right, now I want to get dr over dt by itself, which means that we're going to divide pi, 2, and 3 over square root of pi to the other side. And that's going to leave us with 6 over square root of pi times 6 equals dr over dt. 
these sixes will cancel. So that means that dr over dt is equal to 1 over the square root of pi.